So the Holy Scriptures are, is God's word. Okay, I will test you with logic. This is my favorite. This is, according to one pastor, this is the most important verse in the Bible. More important than the Sabbath or the Ten Commandments. Isaiah 8.20. Okay, it says there, if they speak not according <coughs> to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Do you know, I, I'm emphasizing the word according. What's your name, sir? Giancarlo. Giancarlo? If I say that, uh, do you know Nubali? Do you know Paseo? How about going up? What's up there? Tagaytay. If I say I'm going to Paseo, and John Carl, tama ba? Says Servin is going to Tagaytay. <laughs> is that contradiction with what I said? Yes, yeah. You already know contradiction. Is it according? No, of course. But if I say I'm going to Paseo, and he says, Servin is going to Nubali. Is it contradiction? No. But is it according? Hmm. Sabi ko Paseo, but sabi niya Nubali. Is what he said according to what I said? No. Because what I said is Paseo, but he was saying Nubali. It's same direction, but it's not it's not according. You know, according means what I said. This that's what he is supposed to say. <clears throat> so, ganun ka strict to. Uh, that's how strict we should be in believing what to believe, in thinking what to believe. It's we know if it's contradiction, we know it's wrong. But Satan also wants to mix error and truth. That's why the Bible says how actually Isaiah eight is about false prophecy and true prophets. How do you know the difference between false and true? It should be according. If it's not according, it says, there is no light. In Tagalog, walang liwanag. Or in other words, it is dark. If it is not according, there is no light. <clears throat> diba? Because God has truth, but the enemy wants to change everything. Or cut half only. Or 90% only, or 99% only, but not 100%. So how do we know if it's true or not? It has to be according. Uh, in Tagalog, it's called ayon. Diba? <clears throat> how do you know it's a fake website? Oh, you have to know what is the original, yeah? Diba, diba? How do you know it's a scam? If it's not true, right? Scams depend on lies, right? They lie so that they get your money. So, how is the enemy lying to us? By not telling the whole truth. And so everything the Adventists believe are according, in my investigation, are according to God's word. Do you know why Adventists don't baptize infants? Does the Bible say do not baptize infants? I read the whole Bible, but I did not find any commandment that says do not baptize infants. Why don't we baptize infants? Because it is not according. That is how strict it has to be there. Then we are sure. If it's not there, it says there is no light. So how to study the Bible according to the Bible? This is the methodology of studying the Bible. It has to be according. Right? Not just my opinion, because like this, because no. The Bible says it has to be according. So the methodology of studying the Bible should be also from the Bible, diba? There is, and then there is one theologian who told me, Win, there is one more way to study, the, to know the truth. He said, hey, this one, it says all scripture. That means, class, <clears throat> if you want to know HTML, you read the manual. Riba? If you want to know computer, then you study the computer. If you want to know God's word, God's will, you don't only study Genesis or Revelation only or John only because it's nice or Matthew only because it's a nice story. You have to read all, see, all scripture. That's why every doctrine we have as Seventh-day Adventists, as Christians, we have to study whole, making sure we are not contradicting the other half. Sometimes, you know, if you look at your left hand, uh, right hand, 
and then you did not see your uh, left hand. You think everybody, everything is left, is right hand. <laughs> but if you look at your whole body, ah, there is another one here, like this. It's, it looks like it's contradiction, but it's part of the whole. So you have to look at the Bible as a whole. You have to read everything before concluding about something, right? Because it says all scripture, not just half or one third or something. <clears throat> so before we conclude about anything, we review the whole scripture, diba? Okay, do you understand? So the first assignment, you have to read the whole Bible. Oh. How many days? You know what? It's MP3 is just 90 something hours, 80 hours. Plus, you know, in, in V8, 